Hey out there in YouTube land, it's uh, Kuda Slayer, aka Daytime Number of Beast once again. And um, I thought I'd do another spotlight uh, uh, review on uh, another mecha title that you may have not have heard of before. Um, this time around it's uh, Robot Jocks, uh, which was the 1989 movie um, by Empire Rec... Empire? No, Empire Films. Um, basically, basically this is... Uh, you know, came out right before Jurassic Park by a few years when uh, CGI kind of exploded on the scene and uh, this movie kind of has a special part, place in my heart because it's kind of to me one of the last real great hurrahs for practical special effects and uh, especially stop-motion animation um, from back in the day um, it's a pretty straightforward movie. It's basically um, set in the future where war is illegal or declared illegal, and any kind of territorial uh, disputes or um, other kind of issues between uh, nations or factions is settled by a one on one combat and uh, giant uh, mechanized robots. Um, you know, it's kind of a little hokey by today's standards, but it's, I still find it rather enjoyable. Um, and it's something I would, if it's on cable or, or if I got, you know, an evening to kill, I, I'll put it on, uh, get the DVD out and put it on, you know, spend an evening watching that. Uh, overall, it's not a, you know, it's not a bad movie. It's, uh, I can see it de being developed into a further you know, game setting for uh, Mech and Zeta, like I see everything else being done, but uh, it's not, you know, it's not a particularly bad film. Um, can sit back and watch a little bit of it. You know, again, I mean, this is all, you know, special, uh, practical special effects. Actually, it's kind of funny. Uh, while looking at the, uh, doing research on this movie, um, I actually found a couple of auction sites that had some of the original props from it uh, that it sold a couple of years back. And as you can tell, it's kind of post apocalyptic. And for kind of a B movie, there's a. Kind of a lot of uh, subtle little hints and kind of humor scattered here and there, which I think kind of makes it more of a smarter movie than it appears to be. Oh, the anticip you know, anticipation is killing me. Achilles isn't moving. Get up! Get up! 
could be down for count. Master Thomas is headed to him. He's unconscious. Could be a concussion. Alpha waves breaking up. Get up, boy. Get up. Get on your feet. Get up! Damn it, get on your feet! He's got a fire! Rocket punch! Okay, that should be enough for uh, what the appetite. Um, anyway, again, um, Robo Jocks. It's um, it wasn't uh, a big success when it came out. In fact, actually, it kind of bankrupted the um, uh, Empire Films when it was released uh, before it was released. Um, but since then, um, you know, it's kind of become a bit of a cult classic. And uh, again, it's it's a B movie, but it has giant robots, and uh, you know, I still find it, you know, in entertaining. Um, nonetheless, uh, even you know, for, yeah, it's almost yeah, probably thirty years later. Um, you can get it on DVD and Blu-ray. Um, I'm pretty sure it's on YouTube videos. Uh, for rental, uh, but uh, again, it's an enjoyable film, and I would highly recommend it for your um, movie library, um, especially for the mecha fans. Anyway, um, this is uh, Kudus Slayer, aka Daytime Number to Beast, signing off, and uh, catch you next time.